I didn't exactly want to jump right into this, but sure, whatever. Okay. Let's get this auction underway. Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horst Masodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. Use. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Uh, if you can spot me a couple hundred. Uh, maybe it depends. Why is there not a maybe? The trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! I knew the bug would get you. Sure, the bug, right? Whatever. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Maltese Falcon. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Hey, I'd destroy it. Price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Advance? Uh... You know what? Do not bid. Going I'm gonna once, hold my time. Twice? Oh, what? Going thrice? The Honorable Yaramir okay. enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350 going once, twice. Lot Seriously? One, a mysterious brass figurine sold to Countess Mignol. I only get one chance to bid? Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe. Starry night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at... 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. Uh, I want... I just, no, no. I'm not gonna bid. Good folk. Is no one tempted? Atypical in style, true, but worthy of the vestibule, surely. Do I hear... Uh... 10 crowns? <laughs> oh, at last, the buyer. 10 crowns once, twice... And going thrice, lot number two, Starry Night over the Pontar, sold to Master Yaramir. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen, a true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the, prof the Professor. Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Uh, the spectacles. No, it's... yeah, Incredible. sure. Incredible. With the white haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once. Going twice? Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the oh Jesus. Excited. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. This was a short auction. At least one half of it was short. Ooh, fish. I hate it when the fish have their heads. Horse Basudi! Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Okay, fine. I don't know why I fucking bought those spectacles. It's a fucking waste. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia. Looks like Who Dijkstra a little bit. Uninvited. <laughs> exactly, serious oversight, okay. Uh... That may be so, but you gained by my presence. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place. So basically, elite. dick! I needn't tell you. An itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. 
<laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should read the Shut up, dude. What's one like you want from one like me? Uh, yeah, I need to find this guy's house and somehow magically move it somewhere. I don't right. know. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our... Vivaldi, get the fuck out! These are voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Oh... Do, do I come clean or do I just say it doesn't like? Uh, I I feel like this is gonna lead to trouble, but uh, might like as well. Never wreck. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out, and he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, what? but... What competition? No trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Seriously? Well, that's kind of what I expected. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Gathering place for the elite, truly. <laughs> it's like, come, come at on, me, lads. bro. Let's bro. Our come at me, it. bro. Okay, that wasn't even fair. I didn't even have a chance to counter. Get out of here, you asshole. What? Lost your nerve? Okay, I didn't want to punch that guy, but sure, okay. Get out of here. Both of you. I don't know who my mom is, so I wouldn't know. Get out of here. I hate two-on-one fights. Get out of here. I just need to finish one of you off. Okay, that guy's gone. And fucking sit down. Get out of my face with that shit. Thanks for my Law swords, says if asshole. See someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast though. You can sit tight a while. <laughs> you and they are the law, so fuck them. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, yes, I do. I know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. It's true. <laughs> How would you know? Well, because I'm the main character in a fucking video game, and that's what the fuck happens. So, how do you think? You, how how can you, you help, can help me? We can help each other. God damn it, another point. favor for a if favor. Can, to get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you, I hope. If it's a trap... What, who cares? You'll just kill everybody there. I don't understand why he's always so worried about traps. It's like, you can fucking take care of yourself. You can beat any man at any fight. Oh, that guy's house. Okay, okay. Um, okay. So, uh, this is what? Dead Man's Party? Uh, okay, that's, that's that quest. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll head out that way. Might as well, it's along the way. Of course, it'll probably end up taking me back to Oxenfurt, but if it does, I will just move on to the other quest. Uh, and that is the wrong way. This way. Uh, okay, of course there's someone trying to get inside. Get out of here. Did that guy just... No, okay, I was gonna say. 
Did that guy just die from one art? Oh, that guy died from an instant death, okay. And boom, and done. Okay. Halfling, hello. Hey, there you are. Huh. That was rather efficient. I'm a witcher, that's what I, I do. To say. I saved your life. Maybe. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? We. My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I need some yarrow I extract. Some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. If it weren't a halfling, I feel like I would have to fight the guy, but, you know. Wouldn't be really a fair fight. Okay. Uh, down the ladder. What the hell is this? What is with this expansion and its secrecy? Oh, hey, it's the dude. Okay. You have Hello. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. So okay. On, it. on paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. I guess, but that's a little fast. Why? Well, yeah. What do you? That was my first question. What do you want to take? What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, of course. Go to the city watch. Tell them a crime's been committed. Not organize a heist. I've tried, repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? Less to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? Uh. Yeah. Do you know what the house is? Cause this is just further, what. You even know what Max Persodi's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? <laughs> he just keeps bringing it back. Just keeps bringing it back. Might as well. Don't even Come know on. your name. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit hole otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me anyway, anyhow. You won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? I don't really have a choice, do I? God damn it. Thief. Fuck, I it's forgot that's how it was. Mates, the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. Of course you do. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness. So yeah. Dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila. Voila. Looks bleak, but really it's the only thing you have, so... Not bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault, a safe cracker. Or a demolition specialist. Uh huh. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also, your job, I'd uh, 
prefer to remain largely out of sight. Of course you would. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye, but that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. Fine! Strong arm me into it, Jesus. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it, I'm in. But on one condition, no one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial... Uh, you go right ahead. Better get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Okay. Um. Calling the tru the What's patrols. What's this about calling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldier's nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. I there. do? See? Oh. Well, I do now. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. <laughs> yeah, okay, getting inside. Break in, artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the <laughs> urban. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenford. Specialities. The rhythmic gymnastics. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. Huh, okay. But and the second one? With another option in Hugo oh, Hoff, okay, right. Alias Beef Patty. Beef Patty. The fuck? Okay. Think he's fit? Pudgy face. Doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked a gold-plated cop from the roof of the town all in no bad. So, the half man is a climber. <laughs> it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novograd Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. Wicked dangerous. Not just dangerous, wicked dangerous. Okay, how do we open this All vault? Right. Opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Okay. Bassi, Why is that? Um, okay. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. It's a badass looking dwarf. Holy shit! Okay. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. Of now, course. Sighed some littler ones and settled in the village of Almus. My plane turn us down. Any or turn us in. Well, maybe not. The North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back <laughs> by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, <laughs> actually. Hmm. I've... So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Yeah, that's... I'm tempted to go with the dwarf and that one just because, well, it seems like less work. All right, well, time to go. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. That's just a little right. bit. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. All right. Okay, well, that, um, wasn't exactly what I was thinking when I came in here, but okay. 
So, are these things here in Oxenfurt, or are they just all over the place? They are all over the place. Um, okay, that one's right there, so I, I guess I'll go talk to them then. I mean, why not? They're like right there. So, out, out the house, and onto this thing, place, camp. All right, here I am, apparently. Okay. Um, entrance, anywhere, anywhere, entrance, here it is. Okay. Hello, I'm looking for someone. Talk to Quinto. Hello. Oh. Oh. You, Quinto. The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa, I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher. Keep clear of the cage, right? First uh, you threat to extort coin, and now you want to scheme with my prisoner. Not a chance. What? Who is this guy? I really don't remember him. God damn it! Why am I so bad at remembering names and characters and things? I don't remember this guy at all. I remember all I remember is his ass. So maybe I can kill him. I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You or the bankers. Meaning Master Hands of Sidaris' moral spine is rather bendy. You'll be the one with a bendy spine in a minute. I said, shut your mouth. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. But I have a special rate for you. You fleece me. I oh, it's my turn. don't. Four hundred. That's it. Uh, an old fish wife. Never heard that term before. I don't. I don't want to pay this guy four hundred gold. I don't want to make a deal. I don't want to play a game of Wigan with him. Let's just insult him. Maybe he'll attack me. Famous mercenary, supposedly. But you're acting like an old fish wife. Just counting the crowns. Counting the crowns. What? I'll not take any insults from some bloody mutant. I proved my mettle at Hag, Dillingen, Brenner, and... All long ago, and probably only half true. You're bold, sure, with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that must have hurt, that. Cheat me out of coin, then dare insult me. Take it back, you bastard. Open your gob and take it right back. Uh, Fight me. Bare fists. Make me take it back. If you fail, you'll let Quinto go. Deal? Bloody deal. Let's <laughs> give us some space. I need to show this drifter what happens when you cross hands of Sedaris. Don't worry, I'm not gonna learn that lesson. I'm not gonna learn that lesson. Counter and punch. And counter and punch. Counter. Oh, fuck, I ca fuck you, I countered. Let me counter, fucking game! Shit! Gerald, watch out. God damn it, why is it they hit you once and then all of a sudden you can't counter anymore? Counter, fucker! God damn it, this game is... Fist fights, I don't know why, it only just started doing that recently. Sit down, you fucker. God damn it. Thought you looked wimpy. Didn't expect it to be that easy, though. Must admit, I'm fairly surprised myself. Of course he is. Your trap. Both of you. Take him, Witcher, and bugger you. Why did? How did you? <laughs> this boy did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out. Witcher showed up before I could. I, that makes sense. I mean, he is a safe cracker, right? Let that be it's a locksmith, lock picker. Now, do tell. What's it you need me for? Uh, got a job for you, actually. Need you to open something for me, something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. Yeah, I think that's the better option than taking that guy from his home. 
who has kids, yeah. I think that's this is the better option. I didn't expect it to be so close or to be so easy to free him, so, you know, whatever. Moving along, it would be open sesame witcher seasonings. What? Oh, that's a separate quest? Why would that be a separate quest? Anyway, okay, map. I want the map. I am looking for the next closest area. Oxenfurt, I'm not going there. All right, let's go talk to Shawnee and the script thing. On Everick Estate. I guess this is the right place, apparently. One, that's where the GPS says, and two, the name sounds about right. Hello, Shawnee. Why are you making a wreath? Just because? Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. The wedding. <laughs> you were getting work. Wait. A wedding? Whose? Not hers. I know whose. It's coming out nicely. Nimble hands you got there. I She's a medic! I'm a surgeon. Think I prefer you using them this way. Less blood? Sure. More beauty. Oh There's god damn it. Surgery, I assure you. That's true. No, just out here in this landscape, it does more for me than in an operating room. What happened to Yennefer? To bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Yes, please. Let's go. Yes, please. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. I guess that would explain why this guy wished for riches, because his family had riches and then lost them, and he wanted that back. Kind of sad, and even more reason why I think I like that guy over the merchant. God damn, that merchant's going to end up being the bad guy. Mark my words! Like last time, mark my words right here. The merchant's the bad guy. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, that helps me a lot. If you have something you want to tell me, leave a comment below. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. To see my Witcher 3 playthrough, check out the video up top there, and for something a bit different, check out the Psychonauts playthrough on the bottom. Oh, I'm out. Shit. No, 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 no! Oh shit. Oh god, I am so screwed. I am so screwed. So fucking screwed. Keep going, run!